NTDs are very important because they're diseases of inequity. They're the diseases of the people that have been left behind. It doesn't kill immediately, but it impoverishes the people and it, it can move from one generation to the other if nothing is done to stop it. Diseases that nobody can pronounce with numbers that are unfathomable, over a billion people on the planet that are affected by these. Part of my leg was swollen and it was very hot when you touch. The pain in my eyes started when I was young. I couldn't open my eyes, so I stayed at home. In order to tackle uh, these diseases, as you may be aware, there has been a great uh, momentum uh, internationally with, for instance, the London Declaration. The London Declaration was really about a group of partners coming and saying, I can't do it all, but I can do part. And so with the pharmaceutical companies putting the, the drugs on the table, with the NGO partners saying, we're committed to working with these communities, with endemic countries saying, we're willing to make this a priority, and with donors saying, we think this bed is worth it and we think it's going to have, a, have an impact on health and welfare of some of the most impoverished people. The London Declaration was a good rallying point for us to agree collectively on what we think is achievable over a period of time and then on a yearly basis monitor and see where we're going and how far we've gone and what we could do better. If you look back at where we were with HIV when we started, because of determination, look at how many people are now accessing treatment and I think we can do the same for MTGs. There's no new case of blindness since the intervention started. So for me, it's good news. I see children run around, and I know within me that none of these children will go blind as a result of river blindness. I know that none of these children will be hit by NTDs because we're hitting back. The very last uh, mile can be very difficult. It requires a lot more resources. Tracing one person within a population of 10,000 who could potentially reintroduce the disease. Leave no one behind. And that's what fighting MTDs is all about. If we want to really uh, achieve the 2020 target, tackle MTDs, there's a need to ensure that we can raise funds, not only internationally, but also locally. It is not acceptable if we don't seize this opportunity to scale up interventions and achieve the elimination goals that we have given to ourselves. Teaching them um, a better lifestyle is making them live life in, in a better way. Going into these communities and watching them and seeing the pride of the community drug distributor and seeing the uh, vibrance of the kids really brings hope. These are solvable problems, compelling cases for people who are most in need. It's inexcusable for us not to take this on and show that it can be done.